Morning, everybody. Oh, it is a real wet one this morning. Um, we've left Moss Yard. Uh, that was a bit of a trawl all by itself. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, we, we opted to park on the lower field. Um, so it was virtually on the beach. It was great for the, for the dogs. Um, but you couldn't park where you normally would on the flat uh, part of the, of the grass because they were reseeding. So we had to park on a slight slope which my, my mistake really, I should have realized. However, I did put some matting out last night uh, underneath the drive wheels. Um, and we put plenty of chocks out as well to make sure we had no roll. And then, so this morning it was because we had a lot of rain overnight. It was a bit of a mission getting off this morning, but with a bit of perseverance um, and by Amanda rotating the matting as we managed to edge our way forward. I was, I was caked, I'm telling you. <laughs> she did. She was a bit wet, for sure. But we, but we made it. You know, we didn't do too much damage to the grass. Look at, um, look at me. I'm drying. I'm drying we got off there and, uh, and and we left. We will do a, a review of the site. Um, I think Amanda's done that already. Um, personally, is it somewhere I'd go back to? Probably not. Uh, being a motorhomer rather than a camper, then um, I need certain facilities, as we all do, near to where we're going to be pitched up. I can't keep moving the van up and down the site to travel from the bottom field to the top field just to uh, em empty the toilet, for example. So it's about to empty the toilet. It took, it's about a five minute uh, walk, which doesn't sound much, but it is up a hill like that. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> but um, so, yeah, for me, it, it's probably not. The, shower, the, the showers were up by the main reception, which again was was five, 10 minute walk from uh, from where we were pitched. There it is, it is what it is. And we're now back on the road. So we're heading today for Clattering Shores Lock, um, which I've been told is very nice. It's a dam, so it's, it's kind of a reservoir as opposed to a, a natural lock. Um, but there is a visitor center there and it's one of the Forestry Commission ones. So you're allowed to park there for a fee um, overnight which would be great. We're, we're not going to get there just yet. I can't imagine it's going to be busy today because it's absolutely pouring down outside still. So we've stopped for some breakfast and we are on the edge of Clattering Shores, not Clattering Shores, no, Lock, um, Ken. Lock Ken, Lock Ken. Yeah, we're Lock Ken. And it's really, really beautiful. I mean, if this was nice weather, this would be stunning. Um, but we pulled in, I put a what three words um, below in the comments box because it's an ideal place to stop over for an yeah, hour great. and have some breakfast. It's, it's yeah. lovely. We're on the edge of the road. It's an A road, but though people, it's a bunch of you that, that know Scotland roads, A roads, they are what they are. Um, but it is a fairly quiet road. Um, and if you wonder what I'm looking at, I do have a very hyperactive dog here who is just chewing my arm. <laughs> so. Um, Never work with children or animals, they say. And this one's this one's Molly. She's all cutched up. So yeah. it's um, but yeah, it's a lovely little lay by. Um, so it'll be fine. We'll have some food, and then we'll uh, make our way on around to um, Clattery Shores Lock. Lock Clattery, Clattery, Clattery Shores, Shores Lock. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a look then. So.
Okay folks, so we've just pulled into Clattershaw's Visitor Centre. Yeah, and it's um, Forestry Land, uh, Forestry and Land of Scotland. So they have got a website which has got all the information on as well. Walk you down into the parking area. I would say they would welcome around about eight motorhomes staying overnight. They like to keep people about four metres apart, apparently. We're right over in the corner over there. As you can see, for daytime use, there's people just visiting and going for walks. So, today the machines aren't working, so we went into the cafe and paid. But the way that it functions is, if you turn up during the day and you want to stay overnight, then you need to pay for an all-day ticket, which is £3. And then what you do for overnight parking is you buy two parking tickets to cover you for overnight. If you then decide you want to stay for a bit the following morning, then you've got to obviously top up, um, but they only like you to stay for one night. So, here we go. Stay the night between 1800 hours and 10 o'clock. So this applies only to motorhomes, campervans and caravans with own toilet facilities. Now there is a cafe, I'll walk you up to that in a minute, and there are toilet facilities, not sure if they're going to be open during the night or not. So from here you can walk off to Bruce's Stone, and we are literally right on the lock here. Um, it's a bit murky today, you can't see much, really, to be fair, but we'll, um, go for, we're going for a walk in a, in a while. So yeah, as you can see, plenty of space, great stopover. Um, I can imagine when the sun's shining, this is just amazing. We've decided to go right up the corner, out of the way. There's also an Elson point here. I haven't seen a tapas yet, but I may find one at the top. Um, it's not gonna be very handy for a big fillet, but for containers maybe, if there is one. But there's the Elson Point right in the corner. And I just think that Scotland is so fantastic catering for people because it just saves people dumping their waste in places that they shouldn't, which is going to be in the lock, isn't it? You know? So Clattering Shores is actually a dam and was constructed by the Galloway Water Power Company, 1932 to 1934. And there's a little monument here which tells you all about it. So I'm going to go back in now and get togged up and we're going to go off for a walk first of all to see Bruce's Stone and we'll go up by the cafe area which looks to be quite busy to be honest. I've just walked about five minutes from the visitor centre down a pathway to find Bruce's Stone and here it is, here's Bruce's Stone. This is the place where he was apparently taking a rest um, before he went off to Glen Trool. Now, apparently what happened in 1306, he seized the empty throne of Scotland, but was defeated by the English and he became a fugitive. So off he went to Rathlin Island and later to Ulster in the Hebrides, but he returned the following year to retake his kingdom. So over at Glen Trool is a stone which commem commemorates where the battle was, but here is a stone where he took a rest. This really is lovely. I don't know whether this is going to show the exact extent of how big this lock is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a bit of a grey miserable day today, but the rain stopped. I've just found a little plaque on a wall. That fascinating Clattershaws Road which leads through the wildest scenery that can be reached by wheels in the south of Scotland. As we looked to the west, the sun was beginning to set low on the horizon. S.R. Crockett. Hmm, I need to look up who S.R. Crockett is. Good evening. So, uh, after a eventful day today, um, with regards to the van and getting off the previous site, we arrived here at Clatton Shores Lock, which was great. Um, the weather has turned a little bit, so both myself and Amanda and the dogs are all pretty wet and dirty. So we're going to be showering, ready before uh, before bedtime. Um, getting the tea on the go tonight, so we've got a little bit of uh, lasagna on tonight, a vegetarian lasagna, which we made before we came. A little bit of garlic bread, maybe a bottle of wine, 
and then we'll be turning in. Um, thanks for watching today and uh, we'll catch up with you all tomorrow in the morning. Good morning everybody. Uh, we have just left Clapham Shores Lock and we are sadly making our way back down south today. We will have another stop, um, a stop over, but we're not sure where yet. I think the plan would be to head south, see how far we get, um, and then uh, look for somewhere to free camp for, uh, for tonight. Um, but it's been it's been a great week up here in, uh, in Scotland, and it's at this time of the year, okay, the weather hasn't been very good, but with the autumnal changes in the colours, it's been fantastic. We've had no issues at all whilst we've been up here, and it's been uh, it's been great, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really good. It's been yeah, good. we've um, we've learned a lot about ourselves. It's the first tour we've ever done. Normally, we go somewhere, we stay there. So uh, it's the first tour. It's where we've not had any awnings out or no chairs outside. It's been on the move, and we yeah. learned a lot, haven't we? Yeah, but we learned a lot. We've, the dogs, it's been difficult on days for sure. And we've learned what is good and what is not good now when you've got three big dogs with you. Um, and also what we need in the van. And I'll be running through all of this with you uh, in the video a little bit later on about what we have learned. Um, and changes I'll be making to the van, to the layup, the setup of the van. And also little purchases we're going to make uh, to make life a little bit easier when we go on to our next trip, which was it's going to be, is yes, coming back, yeah, so it was going to be uh, in South Wales, uh, Mid and West Wales. But we have enjoyed Scotland so much and they seem to cater so much more for motorhomes and people like us that um, we're going to come back up to Scotland. So, not sure where we're going to go. Um, I'm going to start in about, uh, planning when I get back. Um, I'm not going to say where I think we're going to go, but I think I do know where we're going to go. There's so much to explain. So you'll have to stay oh, tuned for that one. So make yeah. sure if you've not subscribed, subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell notification icon and that way you'll be the first to know uh, when when we uh, upload new videos and where we're going to go. So we're going to make our way down south um, and we'll stop off, get some breakfast and we'll catch up with you uh, in a little bit, uh, a little bit later on. See you later.